China's space agency called the launch a complete success. The country's vice minister of foreign affairs was one of the first to send their congratulations, saying onwards to new horizons and discoveries. Well, the Taikonauts' arrival at the space station trended on Chinese social media. And as this picture dropped of the three existing and three new crew altogether, a hashtag which roughly translates to there are now six Chinese in outer space got more than a million views. Well, another thing that's got people talking is the age of the crew. Two were born in the 1990s. Some commentators have dubbed it the millennial mission and say they represent a new generation in space. History, meanwhile, was made by Wang Haose. She's China's first female space engineer and just the third Chinese woman on a crewed space flight. Well, she studied at Southeast University in Jiangsu, and the province's official X account paid tribute to her, saying she's inspired generations of women to dream big. The mission's commander, Sai Shuja, has actually done this before. This was him in December 2022 when he returned from the Shenzhou 14 mission 22 months later, and he's broken the record for the shortest interval between two space missions for a Chinese Taikonaut. The crew will conduct 86 experiments on board. They've taken fruit flies to space for the first time to study their growth and behavior. And if you're wondering what life might be like in space, then these astronaut vlogs from the China Manned Space Agency's Tiangong TV give a good insight. Here's the Shenzhou 18 crew conducting experiments. And this one featuring the Shenzhou 15 Taikonauts shows how they keep fit using a space bike and a space treadmill. And what now for the Shenzhou 18 crew? Well, it's time to say goodbye. They will be heading back to Earth on November the 4th. And to get ready for that, they've been doing docking training. They've been going over emergency decision-making protocols. And they've even been giving their space garden a final watering.